Hey YouTube, here's Heiko, recording from my garage. Uh, we're now doing the second step of putting the tape all together. Um, let's see here. We're putting on the knee pads, as they are called. Um, if you have a pair of those and you want to put them on the tank of an airhead, you have to make sure that you have the orientation right because they only fit in one orientation and on one side. Um, I used again my favorite wax and tar remover to give this a prep. I also used my little scuffing pad for both surfaces for this and for this you can see the the paint is kind of dull and as a glue we're using defcon home welded all-purpose adhesive clear um already did one side now we're going to do the second side i'm going to uh, lay a bead of glue on here pretty far away from the outside edge because this stuff spreads nice and thin and then one here in the middle and then we're gonna slap the pad on real quick in the right orientation just to have a glue imprint on the pad itself kind of like so push 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 and then we're going to take it off real quick. Now we have an imprint on the rubber here. So I'm going to do the same here. But like on the inside, not so close to the edge. Because this stuff squeezes out. And roughly here. Like so. And, uh, and then we're going to put a little more here. And then we're going to have my small little acid brush and just brush it out a little more but all to the inside not to the outside because i don't want to have this visible sticking out you're supposed to keep the glue on there until it gets tacky but today is a warm day and here in my garage it is really warm and it, it gets tacky so quick that if I don't hurry it's dry before the pad makes it up on the tank so we're just gonna skip the waiting part and now we're just gonna eyeball it put it roughly in the middle of this indention here indentation indention indentation and hope that we don't smear out too much glue. There is a little bit of smear out here and there. Because I'm pushing it around too much. Um, if you don't wait too long with a cleanup, you can uh, remove it with um, acetone. But then at the same time, you have to be pretty careful with your paint. Here in this case, it's uh, powder coat powder coating is relatively resistant to chemicals you just don't want to rub too long okay I'm going to start cleaning up and then while I do the cleanup I use straight acetone out of the bottle um, the cool thing about that stuff is it um, it evaporates pretty quickly so if I remove some glue squeeze out, which I can't find anymore, huh, maybe there isn't any. I don't see any squeeze out, so that saves us that. Uh, the cool stuff is that acetone evaporates so quickly that, uh, you know, if you get it on your paint, it's, it's gone so quickly before it can even cause any damage. And we're just going to keep pushing and holding it until the stuff is settled set 
set time is about five minutes and then uh, oh no work time is about five minutes set time is about an hour on the other side I let it cure a little bit dry a little bit it was so quick that uh, I barely had time to move anything here but this time you know since practice uh, improves the technique I already knew not to make certain mistakes um, so I had a little bit of squeeze out I had to do more cleanup on the other side that's why I made sure that I kept it all far to the inside of the edge Yeah, I can still hear a little bit of some squeezing going on. But yeah, with proper surface prep, where you um, scuff up the surface a little bit and then degrease it nicely, both surfaces, and then apply this type of uh, contact cement glue, waterproof glue to both surfaces and spread it out a little bit. you probably get a pretty good result at least that's what I hope for yeah my nail nice and black I uh, used compressed air to uh, push a piston out of a brake caliber and uh, yeah the brake uh, the piston came out unfortunately my finger was in between parts there and the uh, piston hit my nail pretty painful and then I had to drill a little hole in there to release the pressure that's a lot of fun oh yeah this is stuck this is stuck for good yeah yeah in the middle that you have this weird pattern so it really only sticks um, at the those higher surfaces the outside edge is really the most important because you don't want any water to go behind that and uh, paint start rotting and rusting under there or the tank so this seems to be pretty good I don't even know if you guys saw everything that I just did yeah so nice cleanup scuff up the paint scuff up the pad clean the pad from the backside um, I always use this, uh, you know, it is, removes wax, tar, grease, road film for use before and after sanding. So this is for uh, paint prep. And it seems to help. Oop. And kick the acetone. All right. Yeah, no acetone needed here on this side. That's good. All right, quick, quick look at the other side. There you go. And you can see around the corners here, yeah, there was a little glue squeeze out. I don't know what I'm going to do about it. Probably nothing. I tried to get it all clean up with acetone, but then I could tell that the powder coat was starting to get a little gummy. And that's when I decided I want to stop because I don't want to have to redo the entire tank. So not perfect. This side is pretty good. Not pretty, but I don't know if there's a perfect way of putting this on without having any squeeze out, without having any visible imperfections. But uh, next time, next restoration. So in about 20 years. So this this is pretty good and now I'm just going to leave it alone let it dry and uh, move on to the next project all right guys um, if you ever have to do this <laughs> do your best possible work this was probably not my best but uh, yeah anyways I tried you guys take care and give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more thanks bye